hello welcome back to our channel i'm just gonna go through some tips uh, replacing the tap in the swift motor and this tap is uh, a standard tap works off pressure it's not the electric type where it's got a contact switch inside where the water pump switches on when you open the tap this is this is working off pressure or time um, i have replaced the cartridge in the tap previously it did fix it for a little while um, and <laughs> It started leaking again but because it's now leaking at the bottom as you can see uh, it, it's no longer the cartridge what's failed that inside the tap the actual swivel part there's a seal top and bottom and I think the seal is what is causing the issue so uh, we're gonna swap it out today for a new tap um, I've got the tap ready it's uh, from Amazon it wasn't a lot of money I'm pretty sure it'll be absolutely fine looking at the feedback so we'll crack on, I'll strip it down, I'll show you how, how it's stripped down to replace a cartridge. You will need a box spanner to get the nut off to get to the cartridge, I'll show you that shortly. Um, and yeah, we'll, it's time to get it fixed because we're sick of using tissue paper all the time around the tap to stop it uh, from pouring out everywhere. So uh, let's get it fixed. Uh, and if you like this video, please do subscribe, uh, click the like button, Give us a thumbs up and send us your comments. Let us know what you think. Right, first job, um, take the lever off. Obviously, your water's turned off. If you can drain it down even better, I'm just going to soak the residual water as we take the tap apart. Um, and we'll just soak the water up. But first of all, you've got the little hot and cold button there. Most of the taps on this uh, type of system where it's pressure-fed tap uh, is use like this they have a little cap so you flick the cap out i've already been in there once before so it is easy to to get to but as you can see the moment he says there we go so the little it's like a little blanking plug if you will you can see that i'll put that up there um that exposes a screw it's like an allen key screw so you need an allen key of the right size luckily i've got a full set here so I'm just trying to remember which one it is like I say I've already replaced a cartridge on this uh, particular tap and it did cure it for a little while but it started leaking again so um, so basically we unscrew that a few turns and the top part comes off so that's nice and easy to do to start with the next bit's quite tricky um, there's a collar the plastic usually they normally unscrew but because it's plastic, it can sort of stick in after time. You might need to work a little bit and everything to get it out. That then exposes the, what I call the tap cartridge. Can you see? You've got like a brass nut there. And that's the actual cartridge. Like I say, it is a new cartridge. I'm going to keep that as a spare because there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but it's not leaking from there. You see, it's bone dry in there. It was leaking from the bottom, which is a seal on the... Uh, on the tap there's a, like a, a teflon seal or something from what i've, I've gathered um and yeah the leak uh the leak there quite 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 bad as it get older obviously so we're, we're going to undo this brass nut we'll take the cartridge out next uh, and that's as far as you would normally go if you're replacing the cartridge um like i say i'm going to replace the tap it involves going underneath a the cupboard there's uh something like a 10 millimeter nut that's holds the actual full tap on then there's a pipe work so we'll get into that next now next step remove that nut and to be honest it's it's probably really tight um what a lot of people do probably if you've bought your motor home from a from a dealer and it's been a bit weepy that tap it's quite common practice for them to tighten that nut uh, at the top there tighten it down um and what it does it, it, it forms a better seal on the cartridge so I tried that myself and uh, yeah, I couldn't get the nut done afterwards, especially in the bathroom. So it was a case of soaking it with some WD-40 for a few days and eventually we got it undone. But to be honest, you won't get that out without the proper tool. And that's a proper tool. That's the uh, right way around. And that's a box spanner and that just, just fits in the gap because it's such a tight space in there. As you can see, and that's 27 mil that box spanner. That's what the size you need for this type of tap. Um, so hopefully, 
We should be able to undo that now with a big screwdriver and that. There we go, nice and easy. You struggle it out to try and get pliers or more grips or anything. You struggle. It has been apart, like I say, since. So, I'll take my nut out. See, still no water in there. When they fail, that's full of water and the water comes out from the top here. Um, that's the nut in question. What we'll do now is take the cartridge out. And I have put the shower head on the floor in the bathroom and drain the water, so hopefully it's below the tap level. That's a cartridge, that's pretty much brand new. When they, when you take them out when they're old, it's all horrible and dirty around that seal there, and that's a mix of cartridge. Um, so we'll keep that for a spare, because you never know. And that is pretty much what you would do if you're changing the cartridge. You put your new cartridge in, make sure the base is nice and clean, there's no sediment or anything in the bottom. Um, you probably won't see in there but it's just the old same as that but because it, it's metal over time it gets a little bit uh a bit gammy if you will for, for want of a better word so make sure that's nice and clean kitchen paper and everything and like a scouring pad inside make sure there's nothing in there else it will leak and you'll end up with a problem of it leaking again it'll leak and the water will come up and out the top again from there so that's as far as you need to go for the cartridge put your new cartridge in and it's just okay so put the knot on nip it up with your your tool and it's just essentially put it back together put your water on and try it it did work for us for a while and then the tap was showing you already starting leaking at a bottom which is on the uh, actual seal on the on that part so that's that out we're going to move on now to removing the tap now this is uncharted territory for me so um we'll uh, we'll crack on we'll get the tap out and we'll have a look at what we're doing right so we've got the new tap it's an Amazon special, so hopefully it's all right. It does come with some fitting instructions. Um, it is exactly the same. It's exactly the same as one we're taking out, as you can see. Size and everything else, it's, it's exactly the same. It's just a little bit more shiny. So we're going to put that one in. It fixes under the bottom. There's a stud in the nut, and then there's two pipes. All the cartridge and everything is inside. It's already built in, so... Uh, I've read reviews on this tap. There's a few people with motorhomes and caravans who's bought this tap and said it's been fine. So it was 20 quid. I think equivalent from some of the like well-known motorhome and caravan spare specialists online of 70, 80 pounds for the same thing. It might be better quality, I don't know, but we use a van quite a lot, but obviously not as much as we use a tap at home. So we're not going to invest that sort of money into a, into a tap. So... Right, so, yeah. right, so under under that sink, I am taking the sink out because I've got some of the jobs to do as well. So um, we're going to be taking the sink out, which won't be in this video. But as you can see, that's the underneath of the tap. There's a 10 mil nut um, and the pipes, just the two water pipes. There's no electrics. The wire at the back is for uh, probably for the igniter on the on the hob. Um, there's no electrics, like I've said on this tap. It is just purely a pressure fed. So very same, similar to what is at home. Um, it, it's just that type of type of tap so we're going to see if we can take it out now and we'll hopefully don't have to disturb the pipes and the pipe screw into the new tap without any any drama right so the tap i'm taking off the actual fitting underneath is i think 12 mil Not we're taking off 13 mil, and as you can see, tap's now coming loose. So we're just a, a moment away from getting this off, getting this nut off. It should be the same. The base of the tap's the same. So that's your old collar. See, it's absolutely right through that collar. Is actually you can see that where it's been leaking. So that's it. Now this tap should lift up. You see where the nuts are, we need to unscrew those nuts um, and then we can get the tap swapped over. You will need some different size spanners. Um, uh, undo that without it. So I'm hoping it's going to undo without this pipe being twisted. Let's just put my vice grips on. You will need some different size spanners, as I just said, because uh, these things are generally awkward sizes. So. Just put the pliers on. Just in case 
case of getting this um, nut. I think it's not so far as being off now, that. worth just making sure that nobody else was in your van at the time while you're doing this because um, for example if you're on the site and they decide they're going to put the water back on because they've been to the toilet and you've got the pipes off you could end up with a, a mess so it's always worth just noting there we go and that's the other tap that's a stud it's a bigger stud on this one compared to the uh, to the new one it's a smaller stud so um, but that should that should fit on, same, the base is slightly bigger, but it should fit on exactly the same, everything is the same, so. Right, so, I've got my new tap. As you can see, I've started putting it onto the pipe work. It's very, it's very fiddly, actually, so you just have to go slow, nice and slow. Just tighten this pipe up. I've got the, doing the cold water pipe first. Uh, you can't really see what I'm doing, but this has just been screwed back up. Now this is a real difficult bit now, getting the, uh, the hot water pipe on. It doesn't seem as long, I'm going to see if I, if I can. Just stretch it up a little bit, as you can see. And that was hopefully screw in to the tap again. That'll start now, so we're going to lock the pipe in situ vice grips and then we can add up the spanner and tighten that fitting up you can see that sort of jobs you might have wished you'd not started if you took your tap out and you can't get the new one to go in I'll have a go at anything me <laughs> Up. We'll check the other one. Think took that. We'll check that one. Yeah. Underneath is a stud. Uh, well, I've put the stud now. I've just had it a few minutes ago. Well, oh, there we go. That's the stud that goes underneath. I'm going to install that from underneath. It's got, you can see, a little flat for a screwdriver. We'll put that up. And then, obviously, with a nut off, it's a little brass nut. And you've got a, a, like an anti vibration type seal and that collar. And that goes up underneath when the stud's installed to the base of the tap. The nut goes on and it just draw, draws it down and pulls tight and holds the tap in place. So, I'm just going to make sure the two water pipes aren't twisted because we don't want twisted water pipes because it can kink that much and twist that you get issues so that's looking okay install that black seal again there's a seal we'll see if we can install this next stood underneath right I'm not putting the stud from underneath it's screwing on here I'm going to put the tap in after because if I'm honest it's a bit of a mission Getting it up, so we'll, we'll tighten that stud up. Looks like that's about fully tightened. Once it's uh, got the, the nut on the underside, it'll pull tight anyway. So, there we go. Put the base seal back on again. That's on okay. Turn that tap round a bit. We'll get the collar on first. Like I said, this collar, you see the collar and the little rubber, we'll put them on. We'll just check that this nut's 10 mil. Yeah, it's 10 mil that, so we, we're good to go with that afterwards. We'll put that up there. We'll get the collar on underneath this chap. Alright, looking good. 
Right, so a bit I'm not looking forward to because we've got to uh, put the water on and bleed it through and make sure it doesn't leak. Let's just uh, turn the fan off. I've got the fan on, uh, it's gone really warm. So, um, yeah, the water running. Now oh, that's up to pressure now, so we okay there. Let's, uh, there we go. We'll let it build up now. We'll have to just just bleed it through. Full of air. Pump's running really okay, that's bone dry, which is always extra a bonus, isn't it, when it's not leaking. So there you go. I hope that uh, that goes some way to to help you with uh, a replacement if you're tapping your motor and if it's leaking. It's not worth keep trying to bodge things up, you know, sometimes if they're, if they're leaking, they're leaking, aren't they? You know, it, it, the old tap's probably the original one, so. Um, but yeah, there you go, looking... Uh, Looking pretty good that the water slow to drain. We're on the slope on the drive at home. But uh, yeah, I'm happy. Nice new shiny tap. Fitted. Alright, so if you do like these sort of videos, please give us a thumbs up and drop me a comment. Um I'm not a motorhome specialist by any chance. Um it is just a case of I do fix a lot of things myself. Um I try try my best in any case, but um, you know, if you're interested in any other things, you know, we will do your van tour at some point. Um, there's a few things we've done. We've put an inverter in, um, a few bits of modifications. There's still things I do want to do, uh, exterior lighting. I want to put in some LED bulbs, um, things like that. But yeah, if you do want to see more of this sort of thing, let us know. And uh, I'm sure Lisa won't mind me putting a few more boring videos on about the fix your motor on. But uh, for now, anyway, that's the tap fixed. Uh, and that's it, I'm going to see if there's a Chinese kicking around. See you soon, take care, bye bye.